So now in earlier videos, we looked at how the trim pot can output a fraction of the power supply voltage. We're going to use 12 volts right there. And I have my pocket oscilloscope here. Cable comes out there to these alligator clips, which I clip to these jumpers. So I can move them around pretty easily. And we're going to go to the output of the trim pot. I have it set to uh, 6 volts. It's about halfway, as you can see there. So 5,000 ohms of resistance to the positive supply. 5,000 ohms of resistance to the negative supply because it's a 10,000 ohm uh, trim pot. But uh, there we go. We can go all the way down to 0 uh, volts or up to 12. And this only goes up to eight, uh, 8 squares. If I made each square 2 volts, then I would go up uh, 6 squares to get to uh, 12. But uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to stay below 8 and we're going to go to 6. And that's the uh, voltage I want for this video. And so, now, this cannot uh, power a load uh, directly because we got 5,000 ohms of resistance right now going to each uh, supply. So if we try to power an LED uh, pretty much directly, so there's the resistor protecting the LED, we will come down here and look at the voltage. Now you can see that uh, at the 1,000 ohm resistor in the LED, we only have a little less than 3 volts. But if I move the uh, output of the trim pot to the base of the NPN bipolar junction transistor and we did this a couple of videos now you can see we got the 6 volts but we're losing about 0 0.6 0 0.7 volts thanks to the base 2 emitter diode drop so I already did that video but uh, for whatever reason let's say we want the exact voltage or pretty close to the exact voltage of the trim pot across the load and uh, we can't do that with the NPN bipolar junction transistor. We're going to lose about 0.6 volts. So what I'm going to do is put the uh, output of the trim pot to the base, the middle pin of a PNP bipolar junction transistor. So it's opposite polarity of the NPN and it's facing the other way. So this is the emitter of the PNP bipolar junction transistor. It has the same pin layout but the emitter is on top because it's facing the other way. And the 10,000 ohm resistor is coming from the positive supply to the emitter instead of the emitter going to the negative supply through a 10,000 ohm resistor. So they work the same, they just have opposite uh, polarities. Uh, current goes the opposite way and uh, whatnot. So we got a direct connection to ground with the collector for the PNP and the collector has a direct connection to the positive supply for the NPN. So in any case, we have that 0.6 volt uh, rise. As we saw before, the NPN will take an input and it will output 0.6 uh, volts less. We don't want to power a load with the PNP directly because as we said before, the 10,000 ohm resistor here comes from the positive supply. So we could use a lower value resistor so we could power more, but uh, really it's, uh, it's a little awkward. It's better to uh, have a higher value resistor and uh, we're going to take another jumper here and we'll move the oscilloscope out of the way. Come to the output of the PNP bipolar junction transistor. That's our 6.6 .6 volts. And we're going to the base of the NPN bipolar junction transistor right there. And uh, so the LED is probably going to look about the same brightness. This isn't a huge difference. But uh, for whatever reason, we're being really nitpicky that whatever the trim pot is, that is what we want the output to the uh, load to be with an amplified compared to what the, what the trim pot can provide. And there you can see, now we have uh, 6 volts, probably uh, pretty close to the exact same spot it was with the trim pot alone. But now it can provide more power to a load than the trim pot alone can without losing voltage. And so here is the uh, diagram I put together in the circuit that we ultimately looked at was a cascading PNP and NPN bipolar junction uh, transistor emitter followers and what that does is cancel the uh, offset of the uh, base to emitter uh, voltage for uh, both of the transistors, one PNP, one NPN. So that's the schematic for a PNP. Arrow is pointing in towards the uh, base. Collector is down here. But in case, we looked at the trim pot to start with. We could go up to 12 volts or down to 0 volts. And we stopped halfway where we got 6 volts, half of the supply voltage. 
Then uh, at some point we took the PNP bipolar junction transistor. So the emitter, if you're looking at the flat side, it was still the uh, left pin, the base was the middle, and then the uh, collector was uh, the right pin. And so we turned it, so flat side was to the left, the emitter was on top. Went to a 10,000 ohm resistor that went to the positive supply. So whatever voltage we gave the base collector to uh, the negative supply ground, we would have that uh, voltage, so we did 6 volts, we ended up with 6.6 .6 volts coming out. But as you can see, the uh, current that would go to that load would need to go through a 10,000 ohm resistor. Again, we could use a lower value resistor, and uh, at some point we would have a lot of current flowing through the transistor to take away uh, voltage from the load, but instead we uh, cascade it. So now we have that wiring that I just mentioned for the PNP bipolar junction transistor. Here's the NPN again. The pin layout is the same. If you're using a 2N3904 and a 2N3906, emitter to the left, base in the middle, collector on the right. And uh, so now we want the emitter more negative. Usually that's uh, lower down on a schematic especially, but uh, on my breadboards, I try to keep uh, negative down lower. So we saw a 10,000 ohm resistor going to the negative supply. We don't absolutely need uh, this resistor, but uh, it helps to uh, maintain the uh, voltage across uh, tricky loads. So we got the emitter there, and again, the collector we saw to the positive supply. And then we had our load going to ground. So six volts is what we set. We could write six in there. And uh, at this point, we'll have 6.6 because it's a PNP bipolar junction transistor emitter follower, you can see that we lose about 0.6 volts at this point here. So it makes the voltage closer to the positive supply. So an additional 0.6 volts. Over here, the emitter, our diode, is on the more negative side. So that helps pull the voltage down uh, 0.6 volts, the diode drop right there. So they cancel each other out. That's the point of cascading. And we saw in the example that we did have the six volts finally across the uh, load right there. So that's about it. I just wrote uh, what I explained out uh, right there. And uh, so if you want to read that, there it is. That is about it. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting in the screen and uh, check out the links down in the description. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.